Today, we've got a bombshell from none other than the king of trolling himself, 50 Cent. Hold on to your wigs, because he's stirring the pot and exposing the unseen side of Jay-Z and Diddy's friendship. Fit the head to come back out and make my show hot. I so appreciate it. No, this, this show city, nigga. That's why I'll be going to the puppy parties. Uh-uh. hug you from the front and the back at the same time. What are you talking about? 50 Cent, the master of stirring the pot, just dropped a video that's shaking the foundations of hip-hop royalty. He's out here claiming that Jay-Z might have dipped his toes into Diddy's wild world of male freak-offs. I know, right? You image yourself after a gay painter. Okay. Big homie want to look like a, a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. We all thought their bromance was unbreakable, but is there more to the story? Now, don't get it twisted. Diddy and Jay-Z have been tight for ages. I mean, just a few months back, Diddy spilled the beans in an interview, saying only two people can call him Sean, his mama and Jay-Z. That's some serious BFF status. There's only one person. Oh, go on. And I call him Sean, that's Jay-Z. We call each other Sean. Okay. Yeah, yeah, nobody else could call me Sean. He's and the no, only person who's Sean single, approved. There's not a single person that, that outside should be, of family. That should be, no, outside of my mother. And if you check out Diddy's website, Combs Global, you'll find a snapshot of him and Jay radiating pure friendship goals. But here's where it gets saucy. 50 Cent, the ultimate gossip guru. Since Cassie dropped a bombshell lawsuit on Diddy, claiming all sorts of wild encounters, 50's been on a mission to spill the tea. Now, he's not just targeting Diddy, he's dragging Jay-Z into the ring too. What's the connection, you ask? Well, it seems like 50's implying that there might be more to Diddy and Jay's friendship than meets the eye. Are they just bros? Or is there a secret chapter we don't know about? Hold up, rewind to the beef between 50's son and Jay-Z that's been simmering for over two decades. 50 even accused Jay of buying his way to the top. Talk about a wild ride. Is 50 sent onto something here? Or is this just another page from the drama playbook? Now, 50's been side-eyeing Jay-Z for a minute. Back in 2009, he straight up told Rolling Stone that Jay's got a king complex, thinking he's the second coming of Jesus. Jehovah's Witness much? But that's not all. 50 threw some serious shade implying Jay was out here betraying his ride-or-die crew, including former Rockefeller artist Beanie Sigel. According to 50, Jay wasn't exactly playing for the team, he was playing for himself. And it's not just 50 Cent throwing punches. Enter Uncle Ron, who allegedly moonlighted as Beyonce's bodyguard. Now he spilled the tea, claiming Jay-Z and Queen Bey left a trail of destruction, rolling people off like dice in a high-stakes game. According to Uncle Ron, they destroyed many people to reach the pinnacle of fame. But hold up, because here's where it gets jaw-dropping. Beyonce and Jay-Z will do anything to destroy anyone who speaks out against them. I say, I ain't Biggie. Say, I ain't Beanie Seagulls. I ain't Freeway. How you, you wrote all of them off the minute they did for you to get you to the top. Uncle Ron didn't just stop at Jay and Bay. He threw some shade at Queen Bay herself, suggesting she's been on the highway to the danger zone for a while. Yep, you heard it right, drugs. He claimed, yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time and you keep her that way. Now, doesn't that sound eerily familiar to what Cassie spilled about Diddy? The plot thickens, my friends. Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time and you keep her that way. But wait. There's more. Jaguar Wright, another voice in the mix, dropped some bombshells. She hinted that folks in Jay-Z's inner circle, like Big L, met tragic ends. Sound familiar? Well, it should, because the parallels between Jay-Z and Diddy's circles are uncanny. Both got a track record of associates facing mysterious fates. First time I ever saw Jay-Z or even heard him spit a rhyme was at an MC battle, street battle in New York. But he didn't show up as Jay-Z. He didn't show up as the hottest rapper on the street. He showed up as the nigga that was with Big L. Rest for in those peace. of you. Rest in peace, Big L. Rest in peace, Big L. One of the that dopest. The One of the dopest. Yes. Big L was who put Jay-Z on. Without question. And then Big L died, and then the next thing you know, Jay-Z. And hold on to your hats, because Kanye West, the man himself, 
waltzed into the conversation. He name-dropped Diddy, Jay-Z, and Beyonce, claiming they're all puppets of the Hollywood elites. But hey, Kanye says he's off the strings because apparently he hasn't offed anyone. Troll Jay-Z and Beyonce. No, no, you, man. But they can't control me. And this truth is gonna be heard. Y'all can't send none of y'all meek mills, y'all puppies, y'all little boozy, none of these names. None of these people that have to listen to y'all because they're dealing with, they have legal, I never killed nobody, right? I'm the puppy that never killed nobody, right? But that means I can say whatever I want and not go to jail. Now back to Jaguar Wright, she didn't shy away from discussing Jay-Z's questionable relationships. She spilled the beans on Jay's ties with Foxy Brown, claiming she was just 14 when Jay allegedly started the whole grooming gig. And let's not forget Aaliyah, who was allegedly groomed by none other than Jay-Z's buddy, R. Kelly. Talk about a tangled web. But it doesn't stop there, my friends. Jay-Z's own love story with Queen Bey raises some eyebrows. Remember when he told Charlie Rose in 2007 that he met Beyonce 10 years ago? Quick math check. That puts Beyonce at 15 or 16 when they crossed paths in 1997, depending on the month. Now, that's a pretty hefty age gap. And here's where the plot thickens. The industry buzz about Jay-Z's involvement in the tragedy of Aaliyah. Dame Dash, who was close to Aaliyah, dropped some jaw-dropping claims. He said Jay-Z went all out to get with Aaliyah, even enlisting Diddy to help in the grooming process. Allegedly, Diddy threw parties to get Aaliyah in the mix, but she wasn't having it because she had her eyes on Dame Dash. Fast forward to 2001, tragedy struck when Aaliyah lost her life in a mysterious plane crash in the Bahamas. The same year, Jay-Z and Beyonce went public. Coincidence? Some say not. Eyewitnesses claim Aaliyah was given a sedative and carried unconscious onto the plane. Now that's some eerie stuff. But hold on to your seats. Dame Dash spilled more. He revealed that Jay-Z knew about R. Kelly's illegal marriage to Aaliyah when she was just 15. Yet, Jay didn't cut ties. Instead, he recorded a joint album with Kelly and even planned a world tour. And years later, they tried to do the tour. Um, the best of both. The best yeah, of but it still didn't work out. But you notice I wasn't a part of any of that, but, and the karma happens. But the thing I didn't understand is I was like, I know I'm not f***ing with that. And because of the moral challenge and him choosing one way, I knew morally we weren't the same. Now, 50 Cent, the king of trolling, has been stirring the pot once again. Rumors are swirling that Jay-Z and Diddy weren't just in the business of grooming women, but may have also been involved in all-male freak-offs. Crazy, right? 50's been on Jay's case for a while, mocking him for trying to emulate artist Basquiat, who had relationships with both men and women. The plot thickens, my friends. And let's not forget 50's ongoing trolling of Diddy, suggesting he's been living on the down low for years. 50 even hinted that Diddy tried to make a move on him. But here's where it gets even spicier. Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, spilled some serious tea. According to Gene, those male workers Cassie was allegedly forced to interact with were actually intended for Diddy's personal pleasure. Talk about a plot twist. Diddy, he enjoyed watching her get smashed by BBCs. So, you know, what you think about that? Do you think she was the only one getting banged by him? <laughs> now, 50 Cent drops a bomb on Instagram. Diddy shares a throwback video of him on stage with Jay-Z, and in the clip, Diddy playfully slaps Jay's behind. 50 Cent captions the post, 20 machine guns, only get 10 months. Diddy in the back, patting men's butts. Nah, I ain't with it. I ain't never been with it. Is 50 just trolling again, or is there more beneath the surface? Fans are buzzing, saying you're judged by the company you keep. If Jay-Z sticks with Diddy through thick and thin, does that mean they're hiding some common skeletons in their closets? Some fans speculate Jay-Z's closet might not be as clean as it seems. One fan pointed out, Diddy's mess has been publicized, but Jay-Z has his wife to balance out his image. Is Jay-Z's serene and altruistic rebrand just a facade? So, my fabulous viewers, it's over to you. How much do you think Jay-Z and Diddy really have in common? Dive into the comments below and let's unravel this web of celebrity secrets together.